I'm going to share with you three proven and easy action steps that will dramatically increase the amount of opportunities that come your way so that you're working smarter, not harder, for moments for your vision to take off, rocket ship growth, and so that you don't waste time in places, spaces, and cases that don't actually add value to your life. Let's go. You're listening to the Build Your Vision Podcast, a podcast series about maneuvering the ups and downs of building a life that you're proud of, captured in real time. A community where dreamers become doers and doers become world changers. Let's go. What's up? I'm Clee the Visionary, and this is the Build Your Vision podcast, the show that helps you get clear about your faith, your finances, and your future so that you can actually build a life that you are proud of. All right, so the first step in making more opportunities, creating more opportunities for yourself so that you can get that accelerated growth in your vision is to show up. Show up. Like if you don't show up, you cannot be in the place to receive the opportunity. I cannot tell you how many times I have gotten afforded, awarded opportunities that would never have happened if I just wasn't in the room. So when I was in college, I was able to afford to to be able to travel the world in a choral ensemble called the Aeolians. uh, I went to a university that was very, very rich in like musical heritage. When I tell you everybody in that mug could like sing, dance, play an instrument, write music, like produce something like it it was crazy but like this group was like the cream of the crop the best of the best pretty much and I say all that to say that I was not planning on auditioning for it because I was like look I'm not even gonna play myself I'm not up to that level right but for some reason I was I was still into very into music at that time and I was in the music department when they were having auditions and I just decided to like be there like I was just like let me just hang out I really don't know why I did that. I was just like, let me just go into a practice room, play on the piano and just hang around the building. I was approached by someone in the hallway when I was just walking down. They're like, hey, are you here to audition? I was like, I'm not. And like before I could even finish what I was saying, they were like, yeah, here's here's the form to sign up for your audition. I was like, oh, okay." Before I knew it, I was in front of a group of people singing for this audition. And needless to say, I actually got in the group and those four years were some of the best years of my life i mean i from where i'm from like we we don't travel like we never go anywhere we don't even like have vacations so for me to be able to travel all across the globe and sing and and do music and be with this group of people it was some of the best years of my life all because i just decided to show up and be in the be in the room so there was another time when i was fresh out of undergrad that i showed up to howard university in washington dc this is how i got there i was asked if i wanted to tag along like for a video shoot with the dean of the school of business there i just had friends that were in that space doing videos and interviews and podcasts and things like that I was already in that world so they just asked me to tag along I was like sure you know I could help set up equipment and stuff they need some extra hands I'm like sure you know yeah fine I wasn't employed at the time or anything I, I was fresh out of school all my job applications uh got denied so I didn't have a job at the time so like what else am I going to do with my day so I just showed up and I really don't remember what transpired between then and a few hours later but and within a few hours, I got accepted into a six thousand plus dollar coaching certification program for free. For the free? For free, bruh. Sponsored by the dean of the school of business that I had just met while I was helping out for that interview. And this was actually the genesis of my love for coaching. It all started here with this opportunity that I was afforded because I I just showed up. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just like, ah, you know, I'll help. I'll just be there. I'll be in the space. Show up. And most recently, actually, this is just a few weeks ago at the time of this recording, I received an award from another coaching program that I just finished. And I received just not just an award, but I received a $20,000 plus scholarship into a business mastermind while at the conference, literally because I decided to show up. Like I have video proof of that is exactly why I got the scholarship. Sometimes I throw out places and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm like, okay, if he's here, I'm gonna do this. I'm doing a scholarship for access to Now I'm not sharing these stories to brag or just talk about myself. I'm sharing them with you because I am just like you, bruh. Like I am just like you. I didn't have any money. I didn't have any uh, special connections. I didn't have any predetermined plan. I was just willing to put myself in the way of opportunity. That is it. I'm just like you. I know you probably have some experience like this as well, like where you 
were able to get access to something just because you happened to be there at that point in time. But possibly, but possibly how many opportunities have you missed because you decided it wasn't that big of a deal and didn't show up? Show up. If you just show up to places consistently, like you, I have a friend that he just comes, like he just goes to, uh, he's really into like politics and helping community and community engagement, right? He just will like show up to the town hall or to the board of education just to be there. And now he's consulting for, for the school district. Bruh, <laughs> just get in the room, show up. You never know what could happen. All right. The second thing you need to do is engage, 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 engage. Now I didn't just show up in these rooms and just like, become a ghost in the place like I was actively doing things while I was in the space showing up isn't enough if you actually want to make real progress towards your vision when the audition form was put in my face I decided to actually engage and put my best foot forward and do the audition and don't just engage like engage with excellence like give your absolute best while you are in that room excellence is doing the best you can with what you have. One thing that I hate that has traction online is this whole move in silence. Don't let them know your next move thing like this. I guess it's a trend. I don't even know what it is. No, if you do that, if you stay quiet, you will quietly dismiss all the opportunities that could have came your way if you just spoke up and engaged. Speak up, be authentic, be public, ask questions, be curious, be genuine. Don't be afraid to look silly. Being seen is actually a good thing when you have pure motives. Keyword is pure motives though. So I'm not saying to be obnoxious. I'm not saying to be attention seeking. I'm not saying to be disingenuous. That will actually work against you. Don't do, don't do that. But what I am saying is it's better to engage in every room you enter in the appropriate manner. So why do I say this? Why, Clee? Here's why. When you engage, by default, you display three things that resonate with every single human being that has a beating heart. You display your personality, you display your perspective, and you display your potential. It is inevitable that when you engage authentically, that those who are listening to you will not gather information about your personality, your perspective, and the potential that you have in helping them get to where they want to be. It happens every single time. And because this happens, you are remembered. There's some value, but there's very little value in showing up in a space and no one even remembering that you were there in the first place. Engage, 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 y'all. All right, the last thing is give, give, give. You know what can make you the favorite in every single room that you walk into? Give, giving, give freely, give joyfully, expecting, expecting nothing in return. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to conspire on how you can add value. It just means that you are attentively listening for opportunities in which you can provide value to others. Now, if you are fearful about giving things away, that means you don't have enough inside of you to give. Now, this isn't the worst thing because this is a problem that could be easily fixed. And the answer is just consume more value. That's it. The more valuable and helpful information you consume, the more valuable and helpful information you have to give. And you can give it freely without any hesitancy. A huge problem I see a lot of the time is that we spend so much of our time consuming information that is not helpful. In a lot of cases, it's toxic. And that is a digression that I will have to dive into in, in another episode. But the point is, the more value you pour into yourself, the more value you have to pour into others. And therefore, the result will be more opportunities that will come your way. Now, this is a disclaimer that does not mean that you give everything that you have to offer away for free. I did not say that. I said freely give, not give for free. Part of valuing yourself is probably valuing the value you have to offer. So if some of that value comes with the fee, charge. <laughs> charge my guy but here's the rule of thumb always give as much as you possibly can until it's basically impossible for that person not to beg to pay you like you want them to feel guilty about how much you're giving them now you also have to have some discernment here if you are dealing with a person that you can see is prone to just take 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 and take and take it take it take you guys set boundaries there but my point is hey don't give everything you have away for free if some of that value does already have a fee but if it doesn't, freely give it away. The more you give, the more you will be able to live into the vision that you have for yourself because reciprocity is a principle of the earth. If you want to gain true customer loyalty or have someone bless you with an opportunity that is of equal value or more value, continually find ways 
that you can authentically give. That doesn't mean you go into every situation conspiring about, or how can I give something, but have open ears of how can I best serve this room with the talents and gifts and skill set God has given me because I've been constantly pouring value into myself already and I'm overflowing and want to give it away to others. Those are the three ways, guys. I told they're easy. They cost you nothing like, uh, well, OK, some of these things, they can cost you if you want them to. Like some conferences I've been to, some programs I've been in where I've showed up in those rooms. Those did have a price tag. But honestly, you can get into any of these spaces, Facebook groups, free masterminds, free courses, gatherings at convention halls. All these different things, meetup groups for the free social media for free. It costs you nothing. Show up consistently. Don't just do it once and see, oh, I didn't get results. Show up consistently. Engage while you're there. Engage, engage, engage and give, give, give while you are in those rooms. And I guarantee you, you will begin to reap the benefits of these practices. All right, guys, I'll talk to you next week. Peace. Executive production by Cleavon Davis. Music production by Cleavon Davis and Christian Hernandez. The Build Your Vision podcast is a product of Build Your Vision LLC.
We're going to take a quick break to hear a word from our sponsor. <laughs> 